Wonderful. Let's jump straight in then, ladies. So what is a debate? Uh, do, Ruth, do you want to tell us what's a debate? Uh, sharing opinions, sharing different opinions, I would say. Yeah. About, yeah. about an issue. Yeah, exactly. Uh, debate really is when you have two different opinions and you are arguing why your opinion is correct. So it's kind of like a... It's like a formal argument almost, like politicians will debate, okay? So yeah, absolutely right. It's kind of like you're just sharing your opinions and the objectives of this club is to practice your English, to improve your fluency, your pronunciation, to boost critical thinking. It's really important, not just to understand, but able to be to think in the language and also build confidence, so important, I am studying Chinese and I know how difficult it is to learn a second language. So, so much respect to you for studying English and being able to speak it. And as you know, confidence is so important. It's if you might understand, but if you're not confident to speak it, then it, it can really make things more difficult when you're traveling, when you're trying to build relationships with people in English. So, that's great. Let's just introduce ourselves. I will I will start. Of course, you know me. I'm teacher Dave. Uh, you know me from the school community. I, I teach at a public school in China. I, of course, live here. I started Wonderful World English about one year ago, and my mission is to help as many people as possible achieve their goals using English. So, Ruth, please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Ruth. I'm from Austria. Um, I live in a city called Baden. It's near Vienna. Lovely. And it's a it's a lovely area. Vienna is a nice uh, a nice city, very international city. Mm. Grown within the the past 20, 30 years into an international city. And my mission is to help people lose weight and to feel good again, to have a good um, opinion about themselves, about mm. themselves. Excellent. That's a very noble cause, Ruth. And I love your mission and absolutely your community on school as well. It's growing now. And I highly recommend anyone who may be watching this if you're interested in health, in weight loss, in feeling good, and you want a place to build your confidence and have someone help you with this, then Ruth is wonderful and it's a great community and I can really see the value she's bringing. So thank you, Ruth. And I must just say as well, Austria, probably the nicest country I've ever been. It's really mm -hmm. beautiful. I was there like, what, two weeks, maybe three weeks ago now. We were in uh, Salzburg, though, and, oh. um, you know, like Badischl and Hallstatt and, oh, my mm -hmm. God, it just incredible mountains, blue lakes. Like, it was really, really lovely. We really enjoyed ourselves there. So, yeah, good, good, nice place to live, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Sana, could you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, sure. Good evening to all. Hope you're all doing great with good health. And I'm Sana, belongs to India. I'm final year student in BA English Literature and a successful self-employed or a designer. Nice to meet you all. Thank wow, you for this opportunity, David. That's great. Thank you, Sana. That's really wonderful. And yes, you really are so active in the community. You're really helping other people there. I can see the value you're giving. Pretty much every day you're sharing English information, tips, insights and i really thank you for that sana you're really helping the community grow and be a place for good quality english thank learning so thank you so much sana for your input and value and welcome to the club and we also have a new person joined uh, mayarani if i'm pronouncing that right hello mayarani can you hear us Maybe not. Your microphone's off. If you if you feel like you want to, to turn it on and talk, then you're very welcome to. Um, if not, you can still just listen and try your best to understand. And if you want to join in, you're very welcome. So 
We're going to just do an activity. This was actually suggested by another great, wonderful, valued member in our community, Koshi. And she suggested playing this game. So I want the three of you to choose a color, okay? And the color will have a corresponding question, which I will ask in the next slide. So Ruth, just choose any color you like. I, I did tell, um, you want me to tell which color? You can color just choo I... choose any color. Yeah, I chose one. Which one? Red. Red, okay, wonderful. Red. Red for Ruth, excellent. And Sana, please choose a color. Yellow. Y yellow, wonderful. So we've got- Yes, yellow. Excellent, okay, so we've got Ruth is red and Sana is yellow. So the next slide, we can ask Ruth first. Ruth, tell me, what is your favorite holiday or festival and how do you celebrate it? <laughs> your favorite what? festival. My... Mm. Mm -hmm. What is my favorite holiday or festival and how yeah. do you celebrate it? Hmm. So it could be like maybe a national holiday in Austria. Yeah, 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 yeah. I choose Christmas. Yeah, I think Christmas yeah. is for Christmas. me too. <laughs> How do you celebrate it? What do you do on Christmas? Uh, I prepare a good dinner. Oh, lovely. And I watch old series on TV. Mm, just relax at home, it's nice and comfortable. Relax at home. I I love to go for a walk. Yeah, I'm sure Especially, it's very beautiful. Do do yes. does does your does your city does it snow in the winter? No snow. Is it warm? Is it in the sometimes, winter? Sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit fresh. Oh, lovely. Not yeah, really, like Christmas. Not really cool. It's not the, the places where you have been in, in Salzburg. Yeah. Sa Salzburg is a got lot of snow. Like upper, upper Austria and lower Austria. Yes. And it comes yes. lower Austria, isn't it? I'm from lower Austria. And in lower Austria, there are also regions where it snows. Ah. Uh, but in upper Austria, there is more snow. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing I can, that. I can, I can remember my child in, in uh, my childhood. Mm -hmm. We used to have a lot of snow. Ah, okay. In the same place? The same place, yeah. But, now, you know, that's kind of funny, actually. With, with my childhood, I remember my hometown used to snow more when I was younger. And now, not so much. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of noticeable that, like, you know, the temperature kind of changing a little bit. But, yes. yeah, Same thank here. you. Thank, thank you for sharing that, Ruth. So we've got Christmas. And Sana, you're, you chose yellow. So I want you to answer, what is your favorite way to spend a weekend? Mm, uh, favorite way to spend a weekend? Uh... I like to spend weekend with my close friends. I like uh, outing, going with them in a famous place like um, malls, my favorite places. Mm. Everywhere I, I like to go with them. I just like that. Um, yeah, so just hanging out with friends, going out, going maybe shopping or just go for a drink or something. Yeah, that's great. I like doing that too. It's nice to just relax with your friends, just you know, just have some fun. And um, that's great. Okay, thank you, Sana. Right, we're going to just jump straight in now to the first, the first debate topic. So just, you can take a moment to think about what you think. And then we can take turns to just tell each other our opinions. So number one, here, if you could have one superpower, would it be better to fly or to be invisible? What do you think? All right, have a, have a think. And then when you're ready to tell me what you think, we can answer this question. So, does, uh, any ideas, Ruth? 
it's a tricky one for me to be yeah, honest. It is quite difficult. I, I wouldn't know I what to say off the top of my head. Um, I think I prefer being invisible, being able to be invisible. Why? Um, Go wherever I want to mm. without being seen. Um, I can listen to everything, I can watch everything, I can be everything without yeah. being watched. It would give you so much power if you could yes. you know, be invisible and like, you know, yeah. enter situations where no one knows you're there. And yeah, okay, that's a good that's a good argument there. So if you're invisible, then you can just kind of... Also, if you just want to go out and you don't want to talk to anyone, <laughs> being invisible it's quite, it might be quite nice, eh? And Sana, what about you? Invisible or fly? What do you think's the better one? Fly. I Why? choose fly. Because whenever I see birds, I like to... If I were a bird, I would fly. Just like that. Ah, okay. So you want to fly with the birds? Yes, of course. I love birds. Ah, beautiful. Um, yeah, I think flying would be amazing too. Can you imagine the freedom and also probably be a lot more convenient than taking the bus? <laughs> and um, <laughs> so I, I think uh, now we have different opinions. So Ruth thinks it's better to be invisible and Sana thinks it's better to fly. So, welcome, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Okay, I'll give Eduardo a moment there. And Ruth. Yes. Hello, Eduardo. Welcome. Nice to see you again. Hello. 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 Hey. How is how is your home? How's how's the how's the summertime in Italy? Uh, I hope you are good. Yes, You're okay. I'm doing very well, thank you, Eduardo. It's good to see you again. Yeah, and yeah, welcome... good to see you both. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, good job, Eduardo. Nice to have you here. We just got this question now. Welcome, Ghazi, as well. If you want to yeah. join in, you're more than welcome. What's is it yeah. better to would it be better to fly or be invisible? What do you think, Eduardo? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see because I'm using my, my, my mobile phone. Yeah. No worries. Well, yeah, let me see. Yeah. Okay. To fly or be. So. so I. You've. Uh, it's okay, Eduardo. No problem. Let's move. Okay. No, you know why? You know. You know why? Because uh, I couldn't find the 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 the. Uh, oh, the link. Switch. I know. Yeah. That, that, yeah. This was yeah. Mistake. That's why. Yeah. This was my mistake, Eduardo. I do apologize. I put the wrong link. No, 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 don't do it. You don't. So, you don't need to. No, it's it's to. corrected now. So yeah, maybe maybe that caused some confusion for people, but I, I will make sure not to do that again. And Ruth, just tell us that then. Why do you think? Okay, so Sana's gone now. I kind of wanted you to have a debate about this. If if she come back, then maybe we could continue. But let's go to debate number two now. I think you both had good opinions with that. It really is, we would say, a subjective answer. It depends on you, really depends on your personality. There's no correct answer for this one. So that's the good thing about a debate sometimes is like, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just what you think. So maybe we could change each other's mind on this one. But this is just kind of a fun one to start with. Let's go to number two, I think. Yeah. This one is a bit more serious. Should I... Right. <laughs> have the same rights as humans if they become conscious so do you under do you all understand this uh, ai can start to yeah. think and feel like a human should they have the same rights should they be treated like humans or are they different this one's a bit more complicated this one's a bit more it, more of a serious subject so if anyone wants to start maybe i can begin I, I i can start us off i think it's really difficult but should they have the same rights i i don't know if they should have the same rights but they certainly should have rights i think they shouldn't be treated 
we shouldn't neglect them because if they are conscious, then they could become our enemy and then they could hurt people. So we should have them to help us and we should treat them well, but they are not human. So we need to acknowledge that as well. So uh, anyone, maybe uh, Sana or Eduardo or Ruth Ghazi, anyone want to tell me their opinion on this one? Yeah, if okay. they got consciousness, they will kill us or uh, they will become more powerful than us uh, because they are made up of uh, powerful metal. We are just a flesh, flesh of, we are mm. just flesh. So if they got consciousness, they readily got kill us. Mm, yeah, so you think if they become conscious, they could kill us. And a lot of people are worried about this. Yes, because they might think we don't need people. We could kill them and we could control. And if they're conscious, then there's nothing we could do to stop that, really. So do you think they should have different rights than Sana? Do you think we should treat them like maybe try to control them a little more to make sure that they don't do something to hurt us? Sana. In, in, uh, Sorry, in, Sana, you're, we can't really hear you. I think maybe the, the little Wi-Fi laggy there. Okay, Sana, Sana, your Wi-Fi is cutting out a little bit. Maybe we can come back to you after, okay? That's no problem. Um, okay, Ruth, what do you think? Would you say that they should have the same rights as us or we should treat them differently? I would like to... No, I start again. The question for me is not whether they should have the same rights as humans if they become conscious. Mm. Do they need... Do they need... The Do they need... This is this is for me the question. Do they need our rights? What is the what's the benefit for, for them? That's and, a good point. Mm. Yeah. Like it really might not be relevant for them, actually. Like exactly. Yeah, that's... Won't, yeah, like they won't play by our rules. They will have their own rules, and maybe they should be giving us the same rights, you know, like they should be <laughs> maybe we should be talking about humans having the same rights as them, not the other way around. Yeah, that's a good point, Ruth. I like that. So really, it's not a matter of should, it's a matter of it's a matter of do they need it? Yeah. Is it even necessary? Is it even relevant to them? Um, okay. And Gazi, do you want to if you want to input anything, you're welcome to to do that. I see you're in the in the uh yeah, okay. Hello, Gazi. Yeah, hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Welcome, Ghazi. Nice to have you here. And Hi. Ghazi. Hi. Hello. You. And yeah, you can you can just tell us your thoughts on this, Ghazi. What do you think? I think we should treat the people as they treat us. And always we are representing ourselves. So so we should be calm and control ourselves and not be angry and it doesn't matter what the other people treat you that's it comes to you about you, what you think about you if you respect yourself it's gonna be his problem if he don't respect you or he treats you with mm. uh, with a bad way okay so you think we should treat we should treat ai how it treats us Oh, you mean AI? Yeah, the, this one is AI. So like artificial intelligence, kind of like AI robots, maybe in the future. We're now, it's developing quite fast. And I think if you listen to like people in the industry, they say we've probably got maybe five to 10 years before they become conscious. But of course, there's no way to know for sure. But they're saying it's developing rapidly. So this could be a really important question in the next few years. So AI and welcome, welcome Nazihali. I, I see you there. And yeah, uh, 
So, yeah, Ghazi, do you think AI should have the same rights as us or not? No, definitely. Definitely. It's impossible that they will have the same rights as as we do because they don't have feelings. They they are robotic things. Mm. So definitely it's going to be worse, uh, worse thing if they give the IE rights. Yeah. It's a robot. I think that's a really good point is that actually, even if it's conscious, which conscious just means self-aware, like it's aware of itself, really. Well, I suppose there's different levels of consciousness and like human consciousness is self-aware. Perhaps a dog is still conscious, but it's not aware of itself. So what we really mean is AI is aware of itself, but it doesn't mean it has emotions like we do. It's a completely different system. And so, yes, maybe we should not the, the rights that they have again reverting back to what you said ruth this might not even matter because it's completely different you know it's a different situation entirely but in just like a black and white world yeah they are robotic they don't have the same emotions as us they don't have the capacity for emotions it would be programmed emotions which is not really the same thing but again this now we're talking there's so many different ways like this is philosophical this is moral there's so many you know there's so many different things we could discuss on this one but good i really think ghazi ruth you had a really good input there and yeah welcome naza hurley can you hear us i see your microphone's off if you want to join in you're very welcome to if not you can just listen and that's that's great um right so actually okay well We'll finish on that one now. Hello. And we're gonna. Sorry, Ruth. Did you want to say something? No. Okay. Oh, Lucy. Oh, sorry. It's Naza Hurley. I thought that was you, Ruth. And Naza Hurley. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Thanks. Good job. I'm sorry, Naza Hurley, in the community, your name's Naza Hurley, but on here it's Lucy. Should I call you Lucy or Nazi Hurley? Nazilehi. Nazilehi. Ah, okay, great. Thank you. And it's great to have you. you here. Nice to finally meet you here. You've also been a very good member of our community with good input. Um, you did join a little bit late, though. So now, actually, we can have a five minute break. Just go for a drink of water. If you need the bathroom, that's great. And I'll just check the time now. It is 32 past. So if we come back at 37 past, we can continue with number three. Is that okay? Okay. Great. Okay, wonderful. I will see you all okay. in five minutes when it's 37. Okay? See you soon. Okay, sir.
Excellent. Uh, okay. Welcome back, everyone. It's 37 past the hour now. I hope everyone had a lovely break. I'll just give you a moment and then we can begin debate topic number three. Hello, Ruth. And okay, and Sana, we and we have a new a new member. Hello, Nola or Nola. Nola. I'm I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. Can you can you hear me? Uh, it's me. It. Yeah, I can hear you. It's me. It's Gazi. I have just changed my name. I... Oh, okay. 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 Excellent. Okay. Well, th that's great. Then well, I'll call you Nola. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I know my pronunciation may be, may, be, may be wrong, but okay, thank you, Nola, and welcome, and great. Okay, let's jump in then to number three. So this one, very beautiful looking place here. Tell me, is it better to go on a beach holiday or a mountain adventure? What do you think? Beach, mountain adventure, which one is the best holiday? What do you think? Does anyone want to kick us off? Maybe Nazilahi, can you can you tell us what do you think? Maybe maybe not returned from the break yet. That's okay. Maybe Ruth, what do you think? It depends. Hmm. Each month. <laughs> in, yeah, in summer, I actually would prefer having a mountain adventure. Yeah. And in winter, to escape from the cold, I would go on a beach. Yeah, I think that's that's a good answer. It's really dependent on the time of the year, where you're going. I know, I'm sure in Austria, you don't have beaches, but you have beautiful mountains. So you got that option. So it might be quite nice for you sometimes to go to a beach because you don't get to experience it every day in your hometown. Um, definitely, it, like I, I tend to find um, when you live close to a beach, you think you'll probably go every day. But I don't. I live maybe forty minute walk from the beach, and I don't really often go because I'm quite busy anyway. So, but it's nice when it, it's nice to have it there. Usually by the seaside, the air is fresh and, you know, it, it can be very nice, but also a mountain adventure. I feel you're more closer with nature. I feel like you can just really feel the energy of the land in a mountainous place. So yeah, I agree, time of year dependent. Um, and yeah, depends where you're going as well. But uh, mm -hmm. thank you, Ruth, good answer there. And Sana, what would you say? Beach or mountain adventure? Beach. Why? Yeah, we don't have mountains. Mm. Mm. So I choose beach because uh, in Tamil Nadu we are near the we are uh, Bay of Bengal and uh, Indian Ocean. It is very closely located uh, in our place. So Kanyakumari is very nearer to the Indian Ocean. Uh, mm. I often go to that. So surrounded with the friends in beach playing in the beach ball playing in beach is a wonderful combination uh, i like the beach yeah That's i think it's like beach so you often go to the beach by the indian ocean i'm sure that's very beautiful and yeah on the beach it's more like you can do more activities like you can play games like beach ball maybe badminton yeah. you can swim maybe whereas a mountain you can't really do that stuff but it's more of a hike. You're more like looking at the views. And uh, so it's, yeah, kind of different like that. So Sana thinks beach. You said that very quick. That was pretty 100% sure for that. So, okay. So we've got, sorry, Sana. Yes. Especially Indian parents who won't allow their child to mountain adventure, like uh, taking risky tricks. And they hmm. won't allow to do that. So you think mountain's yeah. too risky? Of course. 
Yeah, I suppose it's a bit more dangerous, but then I could argue, I could debate you saying that also the beach can be dangerous too if the if the current is strong or if the, the waves are large, then where I live now, sometimes the Coast Guard will patrol the beach just to tell people don't go in because the, the sea is a little bit crazy at the moment. So it does happen, but of course, mountains, if you slip, uh, there's a long way down as well. So yeah, they can, but you've got to be careful when you go on any kind of holiday like this. Uh, safety mm -hmm. is a bit, yes, Ruth? No sharks in the mountains. No, no sharks in the mountains. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Maybe some lions, though, if you go to some parts of the world, eh? <laughs> not lions, like mountain lions, not not like lions that we see in pictures, but like mountain lions and kind of big cats can live in mountains as well. But yeah, no sharks in the in the mountain. That's very important. Uh, sharks, quite scary creatures. And Nazi Lahi. What do you think? Oh, she's gone. Maybe Nola, you can tell us what do you think? Beach or mountain? What's what's your favorite? Uh, to be honest, I like both of them, but um, I prefer mountain adventure. Mm. Uh, you you can see uh, the trees, and it's gonna be so so great moment if you find any rabbits going there and there uh, by coincidence and uh, the sound of the birds and the ah. calm you feel the nature I, I like the mountain yes i agree i think that's really the different experience with a mountain adventure you're, you're really just more in tune with nature not like i mean the beach is of course nature as well but i just feel like the the view the landscape of a mountain or mountain range is just very beautiful really particularly a beautiful experience and again Ruth the, go back to Austria there I know Switzerland the same is just the mountain scapes were around like Salzburg were just really incredible that was one thing I really appreciated when I was there because where I'm from in England the land's just very flat we don't have mountains so I, I do really appreciate a nice mountain range it really is wonderful um and yeah, here sorry nola yeah here um here i am in algeria we have a lot of mountain and you have the beach also mm. oh lovely so you've got the mountains and the beach so you can enjoy the best of both worlds there that's excellent yeah yeah it, it's nice to have the have those options like again like ruth said then you can do something in the winter you have the option and you also have the option for the summer as well that's great. And okay, Nazi Lahi, do you want to add anything if you can hear us? Beach or mountain? What do we think? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. It's okay. If you want to join in, Nazi Lahi, then you're very welcome to. But I think that's good. I think we've got some good answers there. A difference in opinion. Some people prefer beach, some people prefer mountain it's really dependent on the time of year different factors there's no right answer it's really down to your personal preference for me i think yeah I, I like i don't know i think right now i'd probably say a mountain but also if you're with the be at the beach with your friends or your family and you know it's just a nice place to go walk the dog that kind of thing it's nice to have a beach there for that so okay good job we'll move on then and we're going to do number four. And this one, let's have a look. Can fictional characters serve as effective role models in real life situations? So I'm talking about characters in a book, a TV show, a cartoon, a movie, a, maybe a video game. Can they be effective role models for people? is the question really. What do you think? Do you think because they're not real, then they shouldn't be a role model? Or do you think they can still be good role models? Like I'm sure for children, superheroes, they can be good role models, maybe fictional characters in a TV show. If it's a positive character, like a strong character who shows good traits, this can be a positive role model for anyone. So 
That's what I think. How about, okay, we'll start from Nola and we'll go down. So Nola, what do you think? Okay, I think when it comes to fictional characters, maybe it's gonna be, um, you're gonna be so motivated in some situations. You can relate it to our life. Mm. It, it can motivate you to start from the beginning and don't fall ever, I think. That's the common thing between fiction characters and in the reality. But all the imaginary power and all these things, they are just just to add some actions in the character. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So, like, definitely they can motivate us, but I think maybe if, if it's not real, it's not the same as someone who actually did something amazing. It's not the same but it can still be used as a tool to motivate, to inspire, to make people want to do good things for themselves, for their communities, for the world. So, yeah, okay. Uh, what do you think, Ruth? I think they... Oh, I want to explain. I think they can serve as a... Uh as role models in a mm. real life situation, from, from, in my opinion. Yeah. Do, uh, do you have, so, uh, do, do you have any uh, fictional characters that are like role models to you? Maybe someone from yes. a story? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would you say is like an example of a good role model who's fictional? Um, <laughs> I don't know if you know it. In, in England, it's Pippi Langstrumpf in the German speaking. Pippi, Pippi is that not Pippi, Pippi Longstocking? Pippi Langstrumpf or, or Pippi Longstrumpf? Yeah, Pippi Longstocking. Pippi. We know that. Yeah, that's a, a German story with the with the ginger hair and the, the, the yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have that. We know that story, but we call it Pippi Longstocking <laughs> in English. Yeah, Longstocking. That's cute. Longstocking. Yeah. Long stockings, <laughs> like like she's she wears yeah, yeah. stockings, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah that's that's I, in my childhood I remember this story, yeah. And there's a movie as well, actually. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. So you like Pippi Longstocking? Is that from Germany or Austria? It's from Sweden. Oh, it's Sweden. Oh, okay. Swedish. Astrid Lindgren. Yeah. Astrid Lindgren. Astrid Astrid Ling. Mm -hmm. What's that? Is that the name? That's the auto. Oh, oh, the she author. The okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's great. So you, you've read the book? No, I. Uh, this was my first movie at cinema. Oh wow! It's so it's. First. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, so, so it's like also a positive memory for you, and it's acted yeah. as a as a then role model. She's inspired, and yeah, like she's a great character, very strong girl, you know, and like she kind of magic, isn't she? She can do like magic and everything. It's, I think it's, yeah, from what I remember, it's like, is it tricks or is it magic? Is she actually, ma she's magic, isn't she? She's magic. Yeah, it's magic. And she's yeah. strong. She's it's been a long strong. time, but I do remember that story. Yeah, no, that's great then, Ruth. So you think they can, and not only do you think, you know they can, because you have a personal example of someone who's inspired you, who wasn't real, but yeah. still made you feel good and wants you to maybe behave not like you wouldn't anyway, but just sometimes you think, what would this character do in this situation? And it can help you maybe do something better, you know? And it's really good to have this, both whether they're fictional or not. It's good to have positive role models, I think. Really important, especially for young people when they're growing up. It's good to have not bad role models that maybe, exactly. make them, you know, yeah. make them go down a wrong path. Yeah. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, may, I uh, share, uh, may I share something with you? Of course, yes. Um, there is this sentence she's saying, and this is, I always have this sentence in my mind. Um, I've never done it before, so it must work. I can't fail. I can't even fail because I've never done it before. Yeah, and I this like that. This is so magic for me. That's really good. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's always try, isn't it? It's like, don't, I think, don't, be frightened of it not working like got to try it to know it to make it work yeah that's a good one i like that very very yeah maybe you can 
have it like on the wall or something if you're yes. in the office or something and just always keep you thinking about that that's great thank you ruth and uh, that's thank a good you. answer there and sana what would you say fictional characters are they effective role models do you have any examples of someone who you consider a role model maybe you can just tell us your thoughts yes um i'm highly inspired by the detective novels like a sherlock holmes um he was a famous detective but was a fictional character i don't know he was a fictional character until i got the 12th grade oh. that after i come to know that he was a fictional character oh my god he's a fictional he's <laughs> not a real man no <laughs> then after you thought he was you I thought was he was real and then you him. found out he was fictional who what's his name yes. what's the name of the character Sherlock Holmes Sorry Chanaton Sherlock oh. Sherlock Holmes I can't I okay okay and this Sherlock was Sherlock Holmes Sherlock Holmes oh, Sherlock Holmes I'm sorry yeah. I think the accent yeah. a little bit there Sunny yeah Sherlock Holmes is an excellent character really yeah. it's like really good books really good there's TV show with Benedict Cumberbatch uh, maybe you've seen it's really good and there's also movies with Robert Downey Jr in them Yeah, really famous um it's like London detective isn't he? Yeah, like a genius and really yeah, yeah uh, I think it's a good character and he is actually I would say I would consider him a role model for me actually. He makes me want to be more intelligent and like observate you can like uh observant, you know, like you can just read the situation better and yeah, great yeah. great character. Yeah, good suggestion. Thank you Sana. And yeah, when you found out he wasn't real I'm sorry I forget the name of the author now it's uh I do know it I I've, I've got the book here somewhere um but yeah he he's done many books of on Sherlock Holmes and they are really good books as well um mm -hmm. thank you Sana and Olkar hello Olkar what do you think fictional characters what oh uh, fictional characters welcome Olkar nice to have you here Uh do you think they are Not correct. My sorry? What? So the question fictional characters so like maybe a character in a movie, a TV show, a book, do you think they can be effective role models? Mm. Uh uh but my English Yeah, maybe not good. That's okay, Alka. Just try I won't push you on this because this is a bit of a difficult question. So I won't I know this one might be a bit difficult to understand, but you can still just try to listen and if you want to say anything then you can just you okay. can just raise your hand and I will see. Okay? And okay. great. And we have Duria as well. Duria, can you hear me? Hello. Hi everybody. Hello Duria, welcome. Hi. It's nice to have welcome. you here. And Duria, Sorry? would you would you like to answer this question? What do you think? Uh, for me right now I'm uh, reading uh, this one. Uh, Nap Napoleon Hill book, okay, oh, which Napoleon is the... Hill. Is this yes. um, uh, uh, the Think and Grow Rich? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, good book. <laughs> yeah, it's So uh, this one Hmm? Yeah, continue. You can t tell us more. Okay. So really, I need this book. When, uh, yani I'm reading for a long time. Yani, uh, every time I'm, uh, I am, uh, I'm repeating. So really, yani this book really affect on my life. Yani it's changed my life and uh, hmm. yani make my life more better, better. Yani I understand myself and understand my life, how it's gone. So really, yani this book really helpful, uh, help, helpful helpful yeah for me so yeah i'm yeah and i'm suggesting everybody to read it yeah i i absolutely i read this maybe maybe three years ago i think and it, it yes. is really highly recommended to just there's a few good books there's also the psychology of money which is quite similar but it's really yes. about the power of positive thinking and gratitude yes yes yeah yeah, yeah. and and th like it just like Yeah, not not holding negative thoughts because the more you think no, about the yes, negative thing, yeah. then you kind of attract it into your life, don't you? And yeah, yes, absolutely, exactly. I think that's very important. And 
Yeah, uh, and Ruth, this is quite similar to like to to your mindset as well with the ah, oh, you have it there, very nice. <laughs> Even Excellent. I changed my profile picture, so <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, that's really good. Yes. In fact, as well, I uh, I recommend doing. I I I have like not sure you can see, but it's like a vision board. Even yeah. Yeah, yes. I think having it at your phone screensaver or yeah. and your computer. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's very beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So really, ready. I need this book. Simple but effective. And like just re constant reminder of what you want to yeah. achieve, whether that's yeah. personal it's, uh, goals. Depend of how we are thinking. Yeah, I mean, we have to ready and think positively, not uh, negatively. So when yeah. we start to think like this, so really, yeah, I mean, our life, our uh, accommodation oh uh, sorry our environment everything yeah you really change around us yes, so really it's helpful book that's really an incredible mindset and i think that's that's the problem with a lot of like media today is just it's so negative and it kind of makes people focus on the wrong thing you know but actually just realizing that you can't control everything out there but what you yeah, can yeah, control yeah. is what's yeah, in here of course yes yeah, yeah we have control uh, inside us not uh, outside no first we have to control our mind so this yeah, one is we can uh, it, it's yes. so so powerful so important and yeah it, it's like there's a good quote in english that says be the change you want to see in the world so it's yeah it's of really, course, you yeah. know you instead of going out trying to fix everything just focus on fixing yourself that's really the yourself everyone, yeah 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 and and it mm. starts with mindset starts on what you focus on what you consume and yeah they're great i love that duria thank you for that input and thank Ruth, you. Would you like to just explain a little bit about your community here because we're running out of time now but I, I also this is quite what duria just said is quite similar to like you, you say with the health and the well-being that the mindset's really and like being thankful and gratitude and it's you, you can maybe just talk a little bit about that if you like yeah, in my community, everything is about weight loss. Mm. And thinking about weight loss, most people think about diet, sport, but it starts with the with the mindset. Mm. It's a question of the correct mindset. And yeah. the the way I, I do it is, is together with experts. So the members in my group, they are experts for sports, mindset, um, nutrition. Yeah, that's and, really amazing to have in one place, you know, where everyone can share their insights, what they've studied. And I'm sure everyone's got different fields, what they know a lot about. So having that in one community is so valuable. If you could give us some advice then, if I'm someone that doesn't really understand any of this, and if you could explain it simply, what what's like the most important mindset? Like what what would you say is something I can do every day to improve? This? There is to, quite quite a simple trick. Uh, bear in mind, instead of saying I want to lose weight to feel good, you you do a switch, and you tell yourself I feel good the way I am, and then you will lose weight. Mm. So, so, so just change the uh, the way of doing it. Yeah. So you, you're like self-talk, like the internal dialogue is, you shouldn't be saying I want, it's more like I am. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah, like it's, uh -huh. yeah, it, it makes good sense. And it's very, it ties into what Duria said with what you're thinking about, what you focus, how you talk to yourself is really, really powerful. And I don't think a lot of people really understand the power of words. And in fact, yeah, it's like language as that's what separates us from the animal kingdom. You know, it's it's really it is for anything, whether it's personal success, weight loss goals, trying to learn a language. It's just that internal dialogues just so powerful. So that's great, really wise and insightful. Thank you for that, Ruth. Um mm -hmm. And great. So, uh, yeah, I think now it's nine o'clock. So we've just with around an hour now. So we will finish here. And I, I, I hope that you all enjoyed it. I ha do you have any like feedback or anything for me? Is there anything you think I could do better? Because I'm always looking to improve. 
I want to give you the best service I can give and support you in English, but also just in education in general. We're all learning together. We're all growing. And it's just lovely to have us all in one place to share this. So, uh, yeah, maybe we can start. Ruth, do you have any any sort of feedback or suggestions? Uh, I enjoyed this hour with you guys. And you're doing a great job, in my Thank opinion. You. Because you, you've been preparing this for us. And it's by rephrasing and, 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 and reading this. Uh, sentences and talking about it it's it's easier to um to learn the language oh that's wonderful to improve, oh, thank it, to improve it yeah um, it's it is, I, I don't i don't miss anything <laughs> oh i like that thank you ruth you've been excellent today and yeah i think actually just reading it i know because i've been teaching for a few years you can like the, the, these sentences, they're worded. Maybe you wouldn't say it as they're as they're written, you know. So it's good to explain things in different ways because some people might understand that way better than maybe how these are written. So yeah, thank you, Ruth. That's really good feedback. I'm glad you found value here. And yeah, I would like to continue doing these as well as other live events. We're going to do more events and try to get people together, get people to connect. You just think everyone's from different countries with different cultures and different backgrounds. And it's really nice to share this. It will help each other grow, help each other connect with the world. So that's that's excellent. Thank you for your comments, Ruth. And does anyone else have any input or shall we finish? Uh, maybe, oh, Durian? Um, yes. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for what you're giving and what you are trying to already to help us to improve our English. So really, I miss from beginning, but uh, yeah, when I join, so you give me a chance to to start and to talk about uh, this one, what I have. So thank you very much for everybody. And uh, really, yeah, we need it like this uh, session and or like this uh, Zoom because really, yeah, when we joined, yeah, and for me, really, it's the first time I'm doing mm. like this. So I really, really happy and uh, to to uh, really happy to yeah, and join the other, yeah, and to communicate with the other people around the world. So I'm really thankful for everything what you are doing and what you are giving. So, so thank you very much. Ah, oh, you're you're very welcome, Duria. Thank you. That's very positive, kind feedback. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm glad that you find value here. This is, yeah, I think really a good place to 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 just practice and build confidence. And yeah, you know, I, I think like we all know that everyone's got different goals when it comes to learning English, but really the chance to, to grow business, to study abroad, to travel. English is what we call the global lingua franca. Uh, lingua franca, which just means it's the language of choice around the world for second languages, you know, so you can travel in China, you can travel in Europe, and you're going to see signs in English, tourist places, people speak English. So just really useful to know. And I think things like this can really help build your confidence and help you understand more. So it should help you in the future with just opportunities and chances to connect. So yeah, thank you, Duri. I like I really appreciate your comments. Uh, maybe, maybe Nola, would you like to say something? I see you raise your hand, I think. Yeah, yeah, I did. Just, I want to say, uh, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate what you have done today. And I have learned some new words. And I Excellent. like the way that when you give us the question, when you give us the question mm -hmm. and you try to help us to understand it with different way, rephrase it like, uh, uh, my colleague uh, mentioned and um, I think I'm going to be here again and thank you so much Excellent. because you are helping us. Well you're, you're very welcome Nola again thank you for the kind words and yeah absolutely I think again just after a few years of teaching it becomes I could just yeah explaining things in a different way I know is really important also just from learning another language it's uh, you don't need to understand 100% of everything just picking the key words and you get the gist, you know, you, you, you kind of, then, you know, you can understand enough to be able to answer and think 
uh, to kind of like have an opinion instead of just kind of repeating things you've learned. You're now thinking in the language, articulating yourself. And this is really important. And it also just yeah, grow, like just learning another language. You just like you just think in a different way. You can you can kind of see things from like a different perspective, which I highly recommend to anyone. Just try to learn a second language. Yeah. Or, or, or some people, three or four or five languages. It's really amazing. Um yeah, I suppose Ruth, do you in Europe you must do, do you speak any other language of like it, then cuz many Europeans seem to speak like two or three languages. I noticed what uh, no, I, I speak English. I learned French at school. Ah, okay. So I understand words and phrases. Yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. I can okay. understand. And yeah. I, I lived in I lived in Spain. I lived at the uh, at the Canary Islands. Oh, very nice. I lived there, and uh, I speak a little bit Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm sure that was very beautiful. The Canary Islands. Uh, they do look very lovely. Um. Yeah. So yeah. I just I just noticed when I was traveling, quite a lot of people spoke. I noticed like um, maybe like two or three languages, but. I suppose in England, it's really not the case. It's most people just speak English. Uh, I noticed. <laughs> I yeah, noticed it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really not promoted too much. To I mean, there's many there's many people who like maybe their parents from a different country, so they speak that language. But like native born sort of British people, not really pushed to learn a second language in school. You do have the option, but it's like I think the attitude is, oh, we speak English. It's kind of a lazy attitude i think it would be good if people did again it just makes your brain more sharp i think it's just it's just really a good tool uh great okay and olka okay i hope everything was good there if you have any questions if you have anything that you'd like me to explain to to help you with just reach out to me guys i'm in the community i'm only a message away really want to help you i'm your teacher here and yeah it's it's my pleasure to help you out and yeah, I think we can leave that there now. We will wrap it up. I will post this video. So if you want to use it to practice, to review, to, to just like watch back, then you're very welcome to do that. But we will leave it there now, everyone. Thank you so much for your input today. Everyone, you did so well. And yeah, see you next time. We can take say goodbye now. So bye-bye, Nola. Thank you, Ruth. Goodbye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, Olka. Thank okay, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye